the true history of humanity is much more fascinating than what history books tell us. But do you know that there are ancient texts that go back thousands of years ago and mention mind-controlled vehicles, technologies like levitation and anti-gravity, and spaceships coming from other planets? In fact, there are so many things that have been left out of the history books deliberately, as if society were not destined to know the true history and origin of man. They wanted to teach us only a great lie yet to be unveiled. While many people consider that ancient Sumeria or ancient Egypt are two of the most interesting ancient civilizations on earth, the truth is that every ancient culture is beautiful in its own way and has contributed to civilization in many ways. If we look at ancient India for example, we will find that much reference is made to the oldest texts of all time. Ancient India has one of the largest stories in the world and its ancient ancient texts called the Vedas are one of the greatest ancient writings on planet Earth. It is interesting to note that these ancient texts dating back thousands of years speak of flying vehicles that have visited their continent more than 6,000 years ago. Composed in the Vedic Sanskrit, the texts constitute the oldest layer of Sanskrit literature and the oldest scriptures of Hinduism. Many consider these ancient texts to be fascinating and at the same time difficult to understand. The ancient book of Vaimanika Shastra or the science of aeronautics mentions incredible details of mind-controlled vehicles, thanks to a technology, now lost, to which ancient cultures had access. But not only do these fascinating writings mention mind-controlled vehicles, but they describe fascinating technologies like levitation and anti-gravity, futuristic technology that were present on Earth more than 6,000 years ago. Many researchers have considered the sacred book of Vaimanika Shastra as a guide to space, space travel and interstellar travel. To understand what Vaimanika Shastra tells us, we turn to a well-known Sanskrit scholar named Dr. Raghavam, who wrote more than 120 books and 1,200 articles and won the Sahitya Akademi Prize for Sanskrit in 1966. According to the dot. V. Raghavam there were human beings who lived on other planets and alien beings visited our ancestors thousands of years ago. Dr. Raghavan said, 50 years of research on this ancient work have convinced me that there are living beings on other planets and that they have been visiting the Earth since 4000 BC. He also explains, there is a lot of fascinating information about flying machines, even fantastic science fiction weapons, which can be found in the translations of the Vedas, scriptures, the Hindu epics and other ancient Sanskrit texts. Many other scholars and authors agree with Dr. Raghavan. There is a great deal of written evidence in the Mahabharata and Ramayana where we can find all kinds of technologies. The dot. A. V. Krishnamurti, a professor of aeronautics at the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore, says, it's true, says Dr. Krishnamurti that the ancient Vedas Indians and other texts refer to the aeronautics, the spaceship, the flying machines, the ancient astronauts. A study of Sanskrit texts convinced me that ancient India knew the secret of flying machine construction and that these machines were designed following spacecraft coming from other planets. It seems that no matter where we go and no matter where we are, all ancient cultures mention fascinating details that are misinterpreted by current scholars and the scientific community. There are numerous ancient texts that indicate pieces of a forgotten history and a hidden story. Ancient Indian history is surely one of those misunderstood pieces of human history. After examining all the evidence, we must ask ourselves, is it time to change our history books?